What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I'm going to hopefully help you guys beat Quadron. Now Quadron is the latest of enemies to hit the Prison of Elders. This week he is the level 34 boss. This boss has what at first seems to be a lethal mechanic. He traps you in a bubble similar to those Atheon traps you in but these bubbles are different. These bubbles take health. So if you're in them for a set period of time, you will die. Now you may also know as well, before he drops the bubbles on you, a text pops up in the bottom left hand side of the screen saying Cauldron is searching for targets. A few seconds after, you are trapped in this live sucking bubble. Now the technique used is pretty simple, one that I think you will master in just a few attempts. Okay, so there's three of you guys in a fire team, all will have unique roles to play. But before we get into your unique roles, so what is the technique used to get out of these bubbles? Well basically there is a unique looking goblin who will spawn in. You need to find this goblin as this is the key to escaping the bubbles. His name is Quadrant's Eye. Once killed, whoever hit that last hit will gain a buff called Jailbreaker which shows up on the left of the screen. Once this buff is obtained, you gain a massive damage boost against the bubbles Quadrant traps you in. This buff though will only last 30 seconds. So you want to use the following technique. Well first off, once you enter the room, you want to head right. Go to the far side of the room, one you can see us utilising in the video on screen now. This location I feel is probably the best in the room as it's got some great cover spots also. But keep in mind, once in cover, enemies can still come to the left and right, so you need to keep an eye on them. So the unique roles each will have are as follows. The first guy needs to concentrate on the boss, using preferably a maxed out sniper, something like the icebreaker because it's ammo region with a powerful scout rifle and a decent launcher too. Second guy needs to seek and destroy the unique looking goblin, Quadrant's Eye, and destroy him. This is the person who will gain the jailbreak buff, so once obtained, you need to get out of sight of all enemies because if you've got low health, once that bubble drops, you will die before escaping. Third guy needs to help the second guy seek the unique looking goblin and kill the many enemies that will be on your asses. And it's as simple as that, this is how you beat Quadrant. And it's what we did as you can see on screen now. Player 1 shoots the boss using preferably the icebreaker as his main weapon. Player 2 stays right shooting small enemies while seeking Quadrant's eye. Player 3 sticks left killing all small guys in sight. Also looking out for Quadrant's eye and making sure player 1 don't get killed while hitting the boss. Quadrant uses his trapping bubble every minute so it's best not to kill Quadrant's eye straight away. Once he has been spotted after escaping the bubble do not kill him straight away as the buff will run out before Quadrant uses his next bubble. If you don't spot him once you escape the bubble don't worry about that he will always make his way to you guys. So player 2 and player 3 left and right need to keep an eye out for him. You want to kill him in time for that jailbreak buff to have effect when Quadrant drops his next bubble. Player 2 preferably needs to use a shotgun as this is the best and the quickest way of escaping the bubbles. I personally use the infective as it's got its own ammo regen and you don't got to worry about running out against special ammo. Also I'd recommend using a launcher as well for killing Quadrant's eye when he's at too far a distance for you to kill if spotted late. Now you all need to stay together and as soon as that message pops up on screen Quadrant searches for his targets you all need to group together and get behind cover. That way player 2 with the damage buff can free you from the bubble giving you more time to deal damage to the boss and seek Quadrant's eye ready for the next trapping bubble and it's as simple as that guys. It's a technique we used and it worked wonders and I'm sure you guys will master in a few attempts but that's it guys that is how you beat Quadrant. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. If you have any questions or you're unsure about anything, be sure to let me know down below in a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like. I do appreciate the support and peace out until next time. Peace.